The 145th CNE is officially open for this season. We are on the Sky Ride, a great way to see all of the action. And we've spent the day checking out the rides, the games, and of course, the food. From deep fried Oreos with pickles to a butter chicken corn dog, the food is on a new level of creativity this year, particularly one ice cream flavor that's catching everyone's attention. It started as a prank. We were at an all-you-can-eat sushi, and I thought it would be a good idea to throw some wasabi onto my friend's green tea ice cream. Turns out his friend liked it, and wasabi ice cream was born. I mean, res respectfully, I don't love it. The CNE officially kicked off this morning with Olympian skateboarder Andy McDonald showing off his skills on the half pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I do officially declare the CNE open. <laughs> Woo, let's go! So you folks are actually some of the first people through the gates. Why was it so important for you to be here on day one? Well, you know, it's a kind of tradition for us. We've been doing this every year for a long time, so uh, it's great to do it. You get the, you get the discount, and uh, the crowds aren't as bad usually as, uh, at this time. Last year saw record-breaking attendance with over 1.6 million visitors, and organizers are expecting to beat that over the CNE's 18-day run that ends September 2nd. And visitors come from near and far. We've never been here before. We're visiting from Cape Breton, and we wanted to get first dibs on the rides. And there are dozens of rides for all ages, including some new attractions. You know, we brought back all of our classics, like the Flume and the Crazy Mouse roller coaster, and of course the Outlaw roller coaster, which we premiered last year, which is a great sensation. And of course, a brand new ride last year, the X Drive, which is. A thrill ride in every sense of the world. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also stopped by for a surprise visit, checking out the sights and visiting with revelers. This weekend and next, the Aquarama Water Ski Show returns to Lake Ontario. And for the Labor Day long weekend, it's the 75th anniversary high of the Canadian International Air Show. At the CNE, Michelle Mackey, City News.